you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello everyone in the previous video i have guided you through the complete installation of latex editor and latex compiler in this video i will be giving you a brief tutorial of how to write a technical document consisting of plain text equations figures and tables so the first command that we need to write to start any document is the document class so here is a new document and i will start with the document class and the next uh, is an optional command where you can specify the font for example here i am writing 12 point and in the curly braces you have to specify the type of document that you are going to write so for example i am going to write an article so i will write here article next the mandatory command to write any document in latex is begin and end document so uh, that is basically a keyword begin and end and begin document and end document are mandatory for any kind of document so it is basically providing you the start and end of the document now if you want to specify a title for this document so i will be using the keyword title and inside curly braces i will be writing the name of the uh, document for example let us call it test document and we will close this title by writing the command make title so here is how you specify the title of the document next after writing the title if you want to write any plain text for example i write here that this is my first latex document so this is simply a plain text it does not require any kind of special package or any kind of special command so now i will run this document in this form by using this command and remember you have to select quick build from here and simply click run when you click run your pdf will be displayed over here so you see this is the uh, title of the document and this is the current date uh, at which you are actually typing the document it will be automatically updated as per your system time and this is that line this is my first latex document so this was uh, a very brief method how to write out a plain text now the next part of my video is to is how to write an equation because most of the technical documents they contain equations so the first thing that you should keep in mind is to write out write an equation you have to specify the package and uh, the most famous package that is used for writing the equations is ams math so you have to specify and, and the place where you need to specify is before begin document and after document class so this is the place where you need to specify the corresponding package right so once you specify specified this package now we will go into the text and write the equation so after this line if you want to start a new paragraph remember you have to put a double enter so you have to uh, leave an empty line to start a new paragraph so i am starting a new paragraph after already written the first line so now i write an equation that the equation of straight line is so now now i will enter into the equation mode by writing begin equation followed by an equation and inside this equation whatever you will write that will automatically go into the math mode so i am writing here y is equal to mx plus c so now i am going to run this code to see what is happening in the document so you see uh, that equation appears here in the math mode you see you can differentiate from the style the plain text and the equation and it is automatically numbered as, numbered as equation 1 and now i will tell you how to write, how to uh, um, insert a figure into the uh, document and to insert a figure remember you need to use another package which is graphics package and that graphics package is specified by this command 
and once you specified the graphics package now you will go into the figure mode and to and the method to go into the figure mode is again begin figure and you can always use the suggestions which text maker gives you by using the suggestion it will automatically insert the begin and end and after begin and end you will specify where you want to place the figure so if you want to place the figure into the center of the page you will use the command backslash center and then the command to include the figure is include graphics include graphics and followed by the width of the uh, figure so i'm writing here width is equal to backslash line width this command will ensure the size of the figure equal to the page width and after that inside curly braces i will put the name of the figure that i want to put and let's say the name of the figure is venus.jpg and remember this figure must be inside the uh, project folder so my project folder is actually here you see this is test project and i have already placed this file venus.jpg inside this folder this is a necessary condition the figure must be inside the folder now um, the method is over but you can also put a caption by using the command backslash caption and here i can place a caption like penis photo so this is all about uh, the uh, method to place the figure now i will just run it once to see what is happening in the generated pdf now you see this figure which i placed in the document is come in the figure so it is the uh, test document and it is placed here now you see it is not on the first page latex has automatically placed it on the second page if i want latex to place it on the first page or where i have written the command i will use uh, the syntax h and this sign of exclamation here now by using this command latex will automatically place the figure here so h for here now it is on the first page now you see and this is the caption that we have already used now the final part of my video will be how to uh, place a table inside the technical document placing a table usually does not require any additional package unless you want to have special functionality in specific tables but in this video i am just giving you a, a brief overview of how to place a simple table so the command for table is again begin table and if you choose the suggestions you can always use and it will also automatically place the begin and end and after this you can place caption if you want and like caption is a simple table and next again as we have done in the figure you can place the position of the table by using backslash center and then you have to use begin tabular begin tabular and end tabular and after begin tabular you have to specify the number of columns for example if i want to place a, a table having two columns so i will simply place c c uh, it will be equal to the number of times uh, the number of columns i want to place in my table so i if i want to have two columns then i will write c two times if i want three columns then i will write c three times and so on and after writing this i will now uh, specify the values for example i want to have uh, value one written in the first row and then this and sign is used to partition the columns so value one will be written in the first column value two will be written in the second column and then this line is this command back double backslash is used in latex to start a new line so it will start a new line and if i want to have a, a horizontal line for each row i will use the command backslash h line so this first row is completed now for second row let's say i want to write in second row five and sign and then 10 so it is the second row and then new line and another horizontal line for the second row so now in this formation my table contains two columns and two rows right so uh, and again you can also specify the position of this table over here like h for here now i will write uh, i will simulate this code to see the effect in the generated pdf so you see this is the generated table it is containing 
uh, two columns and two rows thank you for watching